Hello everybody, how goes it? Rabbitsmore here. And in this video I'm doing a short tutorial on a new redstone creation that I came up with that I used on my improved ender porter setup that you can find in the tutorial section of my channel. And what this redstone creation does is allows us to send a signal two ways along one redstone line, which was previously not really possible in Minecraft. If we wanted to send a signal two directions between two things, we had to do something like this. We had one button, a long line, and our output on the other side, and on the other side we had another button leading this way to here. And if we wanted to try to use one line, what ends up happening is, I'll show you here, we'll do a repeater right here, and dust on either side. You'll see when we activate this, it'll actually send the signal back here, which we don't want, and it will set an infinite loop of redstone, so we'll actually keep it activated. So you can see it activated the lamp at the other end, but it also keeps our whole system activated and it won't go off until we break all of the redstone here. So previously we had a huge line of wire going both directions here, and we couldn't do it one way, so I came up with two different redstone creations here that allow us to send a signal two ways along one line of redstone. And the first one here is an input-output gate that I came up with. Our input is right here, our output is right here, going into just an example of note blocks in a lamp. And when this signal is activated through the input, it won't activate our output here. So this means that we can send signals both ways without activating the one side near us. And you can see on the other side, on our lamp down there, if you watch that, when I activate this side, it activates the lamp on the far side there. And when I go down to the other end here, we'll do the same thing. We have our input and output on the same example. It won't activate this lamp when I activate this side, but if you watch that one on the far end, it will activate that one on that side. So what we're doing here is sending a signal two ways along one line here and activating individual things on both sides. So again, this is doing what this entire thing over here is doing, but saving a ton of room and a ton of redstone and if you were putting it underground, it saves you a ton of digging as well. And the second creation as part of this is a two-way repeater. And this does the same thing. This is actually allowing us to basically replace repeaters by allowing us to extend our signal every 15 blocks here. And it uses repeaters and pistons with sand on top. And it sends the signal both ways, but without sending it back towards its original destination. So that also is two ways while going kind of one way, depending which side the signal is coming from. And I'll go over quickly, I'll do a quick glance over each piece here, and then we'll build them alongside. So this is our input-output again. And you could have whatever you wanted on the input side and the output side, as long as your system is set up like this. I'm just using a button for our input, and your output could be whatever, a lamp, a note block, or the ender porters like I have in my other video. So to build this, what we need to do is get our little square set up like this in a 3x3. Three three. All right, and we're gonna do our input on the right side. You could do it, you can mirror this entire thing. You could have your input on the left side or the right side, but depending where your input is, that's going to be a piece of redstone dust. And that's going to have a repeater going out this way towards your output side or just wherever you're sending this signal to in the first place. It's going to be heading out that direction. And to the left of this signal, we're going to have a repeater set to two ticks. And then we're going to have our output side right here, just a normal repeater. And then we're going to connect these all with redstone, and that's pretty much it. Now you can set up your input button. It will activate your signal and lock this side so it doesn't activate your output. Like this. But if your signal was coming in from the other side, it will then activate the note block there. So that's it as far as that piece goes. And then we have our one-ray repeater system here. And this is going to be every 15 blocks. You basically use it just like a repeater. You would have these every 15 blocks as well. And to build this system, we're going to do kind of a two by four setup here like this one is here. So I'm gonna big out four long and two wide. And on either end, we're going to have redstone dust going across both sides here. And then we're going to have a repeater on one side set to just normal, and on the opposite side, the opposite corner here, going this way. And each of those is going to go into a normal piston with a sand block on top. And I actually originally used a different block, but 
this saves us on using slime and it stops us from having to set delays on our timer so it's actually much faster than my old design as well and that's pretty much it you can have the signal coming in from either side here along your signal here and you could put the repeaters on either side flip-flop those but that's it as far as your repeater system goes now you can just connect these up wherever they're at in your world and whatever you're using them for and you're good to go with those so that's pretty much it guys and a couple different things you could use this for this is brand new at least for me so I haven't thought of many things that you could use it for since I haven't needed it for many but I have it used in my ender porter system so it activates one teleporter on one side if I'm pressing a button on this side but it won't activate the nearer teleporter so you can use it for teleportation you could use it for things like maybe calling a minecart from a further train station to you and vice versa you could use it to send a signal over to your friend's house or something just to say hi or just to you know let them know that you're at your base or that you're heading over or maybe if you were on a multiplayer PvP server you could have this set up in your base and it would set up a, it would set off an alarm in somewhere else in your base to let your friends know that maybe you're being attacked and you need help and you're part of the base and they could send a signal back to set off an alarm near you to let you know that they need help stuff like that and basically the biggest use of this entire system is any time that you would want to replace a two-way signal like this here where you're sending a signal both directions but along two lines and you want to replace it with just a single line here it ends up saving a ton of time and a ton of resources so that's pretty much it guys I hope this helps you out I hope it helps it, people out that are specifically looking for something to replace two lines that they want to signal send a signal on with one line and that's pretty much it so thanks for watching guys well, that was weird. Was I Steve there? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Have an excellent day, and see you later.